What is up YouTube? Faros here, back in World of Warcraft and with my brand new series, Marksman in the Making. This is going to be where we queue into a battleground. We're playing the Marksman Hunter, the new and maybe improved Marksman Hunter of Legion pre-patch. And we learn to play our class the real way. Not in dungeons, not in questing, not behind an overpowered tank that kills everything for us, no. We're going to learn how to play this class against other players in the wild and woolly what's this battleground called silver shard mines that's where we're starting our adventure silver shard mines this pre-patch is crazy y'all heirlooms have been pretty much disabled when you queue into a battleground the stats are pretty much equalized if you're above the average item level set for that battleground you get a little more stats than the rest of the people um, if you're again if you're above that average item level uh, your stats will go up a teeny bit but everyone is pretty much on the same level uh, stats are, are pretty much normalized these use effects on your heirloom like your necklace heal your trinkets for PvP the heirlooms their effects are disabled you can't even use them I only have these two trinkets equipped for the stamina I mean you can see the effects are grayed out um, the PvP trinket is an ability now that's given to you uh, it's crazy and hunter has got all sorts of talents that I'm gonna be talking about this video so this video is gonna have a theme and the theme to this video is adjusting and adapting to the Legion pre-patch mechanics we got we got some pie I, I need to put this pie on my bar so I have something to eat okay 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 and now we're doing it again in the silver shard mine so I'm playing the new marksman the new marksman I'm level 38 by the way this is a low level BG we're just doing it for a little bit of EXP and for some entertainment value all right so I think there's three carts I'm not super familiar with this BG but oh we got a lock and load proc right off the bizet and here we go we oh our burst is so live oh, oh where's my flare where's my flare where's this dude at oh there he is oh dead all right yo 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 Whoa, whoa, what happened? What, what just happened? Alright. We fucked up our disengage, dudes. But we're in there now, dudes. Let's get this cart. Oh, look at how mobile we are as a marksman hunter, man. So, I'm going to be telling you guys about my abilities as soon as I get a moment to do so. Oh, baby. We got to get on this cart. Where, there, there he is. There he is. Oh, I got to keep this rogue. Oh, I'm going to knock him back. Oh, get knocked back. Get dazed, son. Arcade shot crit. Dead. Alright. Alright. That was crazy. This was a crazy start to the BG. I think we have control of this cart. We've got two. We should get some fat points here. And we're good. Let me tell you guys what I'm doing as a Marksman Hunter. At the beginning of Marksman, you're given Aim Shot. Alright? Aim Shot. I was talking about how we were mobile earlier, but that being said, Aim Shot is a two second cast. And it is your focus stump now. It's a two second cast. See, right now I'm casting it because I have no lock and load proc. Bam. Casting aim shots, dumping that focus. And now I'm just using arcane shot, which is my focus. Dude, this priest has crazy healing. Look at him. All right. My interrupt's down. Dude, this is nuts. This guy has three guys on him. All right. I'm going to interrupt the next one. Bam. Interrupted. He's got to go down now. Oh, see ya. Okay. Maybe we shouldn't have wasted so much resources on that guy but I think we're okay, actually. Holy shit, dudes. I see a spider on my wall. I'm so distracted. There's so much to talk about. There's lock and load procs. There's damage. Oh, I'm gonna knock this dude off with the shot. We already knocked him off. And there's a spider on my wall. I'm fucked, dude. I'm about to die on IRL. Okay, okay. I should have marked shot first. Man, you guys are probably thinking, what's going on? Fars is just killing everything, but his thoughts are so incoherent. I can't tell what he's doing. Fuck! Oh, we just instant drink it in a stun, dude! I might- Oh, flare, flare, flare. Okay, we got him out of stealth, boys. Wow! But he's here! He's here! I don't think I can make it! Selfie! Oh, fuck, dudes! I'm dead. Uh, I'm dead, dudes. There's no way. <laughs> what? Four rogues? Four rogues? This gives me time to talk. This gives me time to talk. It's a blessing in disguise. All right! Aim shot is your focus dump as a marksman hunter. Cost 50 focus, two second cast, but I have a, I have a talent. Let's go over our talents real quick and then we'll go back to our abilities. First talent is I sacrifice my pet permanently so I can do big baller damage. I am a solo archer in Legion. Lone Wolf is now a level 15 talent. 
Level 30 talent I have lock and load. More or less makes it to where your auto shots have an 8% chance to trigger lock and load, which means your next two aim shots, quick casting. Quick casting, Shadow Priest, your next two aim shots are instant cast and cost no focus, which means you can shell out some crazy burst. Okay, another thing your auto shots can do is proc, Hunter's Mark. Hunter's Mark is no longer an ability. It's a passive effect that gets procced from an auto shot. Oh, dude, where you at? Yo, I just, ooh, I just flared out that feral. Oh, man, but I do not, shit. Oh, that burst was insane. Look at all these stealthers. One had berserking. Oh, baby. Your auto shot can also proc Hunter's Mark, <laughs> which means Hunter's Mark, this is how it works now. It means you, your next... Arcane shot or multi shot? Come on, dude. Get get off that horse, dude. Let's go. Okay. Your next arcane shot or multi shot will let you do your hardest hitting ability called Mark Shot. This is crazy. I don't want to go down there because there's so many stealthers. I want to see if I can go get this one. It's so close to already capping. I don't think I can make it, man. Damn. See, right now that notification, those red ones that were around my character, that means I could Mark Shot. And what Mark Shot does some really crazy shit, dudes. It puts in a, a debuff called Vulnerability on the target. And that means that your next aim shot is going to do 25% more damage. So, boom, I just hit him with Mark Shot. Now this aim shot's going to do plus 25%. Oh! And he's down. Down goes the rogue. Can we get this? No. No. Who's coming? Who's coming after me? I need to make sure I get the next cart that goes up this way, or we're gonna start falling behind on points. That rogue ran right through my flare! Mark shot, there we go, there it is. Now my next, oh, mark shot again, and vulnerability, forgot to mention, it stacks, boys. It stacks. Oh, three times vulnerability, this is gonna be. Rip the dream. Rip the dream. Alright, I let him get away. Shouldn't have, but I did. Ooh. I'm not gonna drink it sap. Never drink it sap. You can drink it the stuns they throw on you, but don't. Whoa! Get off me, rogue. Stunt from range? Jesus! Shaw! Wow! What's going on? Dude, the stealthers? Oh man, they are locking me down with their stuns. That's crazy town. I wonder how we're doing. I'll check at the end of the BG. But anyway, how Marks works is you got aim shot, but it's a two second cast, so you don't really use it. So what you really do is just conk shot people, disengage around, use your burst shot and knock them back if they get close to you. And then, um, which I should have used there. I'm still getting used to using that. And you kind of spam arcane shot because it generates focus now and does okay damage. It does okay damage. Actually, I just sniped a killing blow with that. Um, can we take this? Oh, man, where's my team at? I actually don't know what the horde is doing, but we're starting to lose. I just got blinded by this rogue. Sick play. See, they, they know, dude. They know I'm, I'm the CC target or I'm the kill target. Get off my mage! Oh, I just missed that. Gosh. Wow, dude. He's gone. This is sad. This is a sad story. I'm gonna help them kill this priest so they can go off and actually do something. Let's see where we're at here. We, ha we should have a cart spawning right here. Okay. This is all right. We're still ahead on points. If we can keep getting, you know, two out of three carts, we're, we're looking good. Anyway. Yeah, people in the instance chat are pissed. Um, anyway, you pretty much try to stay at range. You don't have a pet. You don't have a lot of CC at this level, so it's critical you either can win the 1v1s or the 1v2s you engage in, or you stay with your team and you stay in the back. Or in the middle of them. So it's hard for you to get opened up on. Then, you're, you're slowing people down with conch shot. You're spamming arcane shots into them until your auto shots proc either a lock and load or a hunter's mark. Then you can apply, if it's lock and load, you can just do two aim shots and get some big damage out there. If it's not lock and load, you can do, let's say you proc a hunter's mark, you can do your marked shot, which increases their vulnerability. And then that makes your aim shot better. Because it does 25% more, you know? And that's kind of the name of the game for Marksman Hunter right now. You really play it like a sniper. You you don't have a lot of defense. Is this guy? Oh, 
Okay, I killed him as he chained his way to me. I think that was a survival hunter. Let's kill that guy. Oh, this fire mage, man. People were letting him free cast, myself included. That was kind of bad of me. I don't know what kind of hunter this is, but he's got a pet. Marks can use a pet. I just think it's better to have burst for real, and that's kind of the style I want to play, so. As long as I can swing it, I'm good with it. Uh. Right, but that's sort of the name of the game. You don't have a lot of CC at this point. Oh, baby! Horde wins. But if you line up your procs, and if you make sure you do your mark shot first, let's say you have a mark shot, or a hunter's mark, so you have a mark shot available, and a lock and load at the same time, based on what I was telling you, you know you always want to do that mark shot first, because then your next two aim shots that get fired off instantly are going to do 25% more damage apiece. And I was dropping kids doing that. So killing blows, I got top on the BG. I went nine and three. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. Damage done, I was second on my team. Third overall on the whole BG, so not too shabby. Uh, that battleground went by fast. It was only 11 minutes. There was a couple things I didn't get to talk about. Um, some other abilities that you may have seen me use that changed since the Legion pre-patch. Uh, Aspect of the Cheetah I want to talk about real quick is a three minute cooldown now It's not an, an aspect you can toggle off and on it will it's a three minute cooldown, but it gives you a boss Sprint I mean it's 90% increased movement speed for three seconds and an additional uh, You get nine seconds after that three seconds of 30% increased movement speed so that's like a big movement cooldown and I probably mentioned using my self heal a couple times hunters for some reason have a 50% self heal you just press a button and you get 50 percent of your life back and it's on a two minute cooldown so that's why it's kind of balanced but we get a passive trait dudes that i gotta show you man that looking on top of the bg list is pretty good though dude Ooh, yo i was number one at first why did it put me down to number two when i sorted it what anyway we tied for first kbs and got third on damage so i'm chill with that i'm chill with that let me show you guys this passive effect though because it, it's crazy um Anyway, I forget what it's called, but if you kill someone, it reduces the timer, your cooldown timer, on exhilaration, which is your self-heal. So, uh, let's look at this. I think it's called Hunting Party. Yeah. Let me zoom in here. Um, so, Hunting Party, after you kill a target, the remaining cooldown of exhilaration is reduced by 30 seconds! So, if I use my self-heal, heal, I gain 50% life, and then I happen to somehow get four killing blows, bah! I got myself heal again. That's crazy, dude. But anyway, that's Mark's Hunter. If you guys like this video, let me know in the comments below if you want to see more stuff like this. This is a very quick, impromptu video. This is what I want to main in Legion. So I want to keep leveling it and learning my class in BGs. I feel like it's the best way to learn your class because if you can do good in BGs, you can do good in any content in the game. I honestly believe that. PvPers, PvP is so much harder than like dungeons or anything else i feel like really if you can learn how to maximize dps and pvp man where people are stunning you people are teaming up on you you got to be able to move and dodge things and get out of the way and position yourself intelligently and chill out that damage you could do it in a bg you could sure as hell do it in a dungeon when tanks are just tanking things for you i don't know nothing against pve i love myself some pve but that's just what i feel so i feel i'm gonna try to learn marksman hunter and go over the abilities that I get as I level up and show you guys them in Battlegrounds. And you guys let me know if that's a cool idea and you would like to see more of it in the comments below, please. I think I went over everything I had at my disposal. I didn't use Feign Death uh, and I didn't use my Engineering Grenade. I have a, gr a grenade that stuns things for three seconds. I need to use that more. I could have like trinketed a stun and then done it real fast and then pff, tried to aspect of the cheetah out. Stuff to work on, stuff to work on. And that shot that knocks people back, bursting shot, I tried it once and I missed it, I think, dude. It does a cone in front of you, and I keep missing it because I turn with my camera, and then sometimes it it pops off real fast, like at a weird angle. So I got to figure that out, make sure I can land that all the time. But we'll do that in the next video. This is going to round out at 15 minutes. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you really liked it, give it a favorite. And please give me your guys' feedback in the comments below. Until then, I'll see you in the next BG. Peace out, y'all.